Hello everyone and welcome to Fatima's Art Show. I am in my garden again and I've got a wonderful process for you today. It is a cross between textiles and art but it's absolutely wonderful and it's a traditional technique so keep on watch watching and I'll show you how to do it. To do this project you will need some washing up liquid, some warm water, bubble wrap, some felt, you can get many different colours, a bamboo mat, a towel and finally some netting. So these are all the things you will need so let's get started. So the first step is the dry step and um, you need to place your towel evenly on the table and have your bubble wrap, bubble side up. So um, I've got my fibres here and I'm first going to select some of the sort of lighter shade ones uh, to place first. So here I've got a few. So you just want to sort of take the felt and just take it off like this and just place it on the surface. So there you go, just place it vertically. Once you have done that, you can um, take some more felt and apply it horizontally. So once it's covered again, you want to start thinking about the sort of design you want to put on the top. Now I've got lots of nice colours here, so I'm going to be using some um, bright colours and um, doing the sort of design I want to sort of get achieved at the end. So do the same thing, just apply the colours that you want. If you're doing this outside it might be a bit windy and you might um, sort of get the wind um, sort of disturbing your piece so take that into account. Um, doesn't matter if any of the pieces come out because you can just trim them afterwards. So um, once you're happy with design you can neaten it up a bit, make sure everything's in its place. Um, just make sure everything's where it should be. If you're not happy with it you can always change it. If you want to sort of add a different colour, if you want to add different colour strings. There's so much possibilities and sort of different um, felts you can do. So step two, get rid of all the other felts um, because you don't want to get them wet. And um, what you want to do is you want to apply um, some of the liquid. So this is the really messy stage, so just apply the water. So once you've got enough water and enough soap, you want to apply um, mesh on the top. And what you want to do is just create circular motions on the top surface. So once you've done that, um, you want to place it the other side and continue with circular motions on the other side. So 
This will agitate the fibres and make them stick together well. So that should be done, uh, like so. Okay, so it's not completely finished yet. Um, just going to move on to the last step. So once um, you've done the bubble wrap stage, um, you want to put it on your bamboo mat and you just want to roll it up. Once you have rolled it up, secure it with elastic bands. So two in each side is fine. And you just want to roll. So just roll the piece like so. Just keep rolling for a few minutes. This will help um, to secure the piece more. And the fibers are um, rubbing against each other causing that friction um, so if you open it up um, you will see that it has shrunk a bit from um, when you first made it and that's perfectly fine um, just turn it the other way around and continue to um, rub it on the surface of your table so just do it again Open it up and you will see that it has shrunk considerably. So this is the final piece, as you can see, um, just to make sure that the fibres have been put together well, you can just pinch it just to give it a test, just to make sure that it has been um, formed well. If it hasn't, hasn't just do the process again. Um, and you can do so much with this, you can stitch on top of it, you can use the scraps, cut shapes and things and apply them on the top, um, you can frame them as an art piece, you can make bags and other sort of things with it. So there's so much endless possibilities um, with felting and just experiment, have fun, enjoy the different colours you use and just enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching this process of felting. I hope you really enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions or comments about this, just jot them down in the comment section below. Um, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very, very much. And if you, if you haven't, please subscribe. If you have any art friends, do tell them about my channel. So um, they might learn a process that might, that might help them in their work or in a project or something. So just please just spread the word. Thank you very much for watching.